Okay, homies, it's time, baby, for another grocery haul, PCOS style, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, soy-free. I made a couple fuck up, a couple, I fucked up a couple times, okay? I, uh, I might have cheated a little bit. Oh my God, every time I record, you're gonna see me wearing this my mom made it sweatsuit because genuinely I fucking love it. Okay? Damn. Whenever I go grocery shopping, I get extremely hyped. So, we're about to do an unboxing. I'm also starving right now. So, if I do, if I do at any point lose uh, energy, it's because the hanger fairy hit. And when she hit, she ain't going back. You know? Okay, so I went to Vita Health. This is a Vita Health bag. I live in Canada and that's where I like to shop sometimes. It's like our Whole Foods. First thing I got, two bunches of kale. Why kale? Well, we need a lot of leafy greens, whatever I do. I don't know about your body. I need a lot of leafy greens. And these ones are delicious. I love them with capers. I love putting other greens with them. My favorite thing is frying these bad boys. These Diane boobs are really hitting a new spot in my life and I'm loving them. The next thing I got has been a monumental discovery for me. These are brown rice tortillas. I'm trying to stay away from corn because corn to me feels just like wheat. So I'm just like, you know what corn thinks? No thanks. What's in these, you ask? Brown rice flour, filtered water, tapioca flour, so that is a starch. If you're sensitive to starch, sorry. I'm gonna eat it. Safflower, safflower oil, not the healthiest oil. Rice bran, vegetable gum, xanthan gum, and sea salt, okay? so. This is a starchy option, but a better of a starchy option for me. I find that when I eat these, I don't get tired. And when I don't get tired, I can keep doing things. So that's good. I'll put beans in there, which is another carb. I'm clearly not keto. Anyone who says that keto for PCOS is good, they're probably so right. And I, it's winter time and I get like the need to eat carbs because I get seasonal affective disorder. Cheers. Um, when I was gassy, I couldn't have these, but now that I'm not gassy, I can, and I fucking love them. Mineral bubbly water. Nash Brashard. Okay, the next thing that I got is one of my faves. It's a nuts for cheese, chipotle, cheddar, cashew, cheese. What's in it? A lot of ingredients. The worst things that I'm seeing in this are, when I'm scanning, rice, so it's like kind of high GI, rice and maple syrup, everything else, oh, and raw cane sugar. <laughs> Those are the only things that I see that are bad. Um, again, I want cheddar cheese. I don't want to break out on my chin. Oh, this is good lighting. <laughs> best option for that. Um, okay, so here's my full confession. Sometimes I'm not healthy. Um, I'm the healthiest out of the junk food options. These right here are millet and chia buns. So we're getting a little bit of omega-3s in here. The only thing with this is that, again, there's like cornstarch, there's potato starch, there's sugar. Like, when they say avoid gluten-free bread, like if you're going to cut out gluten, just don't buy gluten-free bread because I'd probably be better off just like eating some wheat. But, 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 I, uh, Calvin, Calvin is like very strictly plant-based. I will eat, um, fishies and seafood sometimes, but Calvin went out and bought Beyond Meat Burgers. These are the crux of my existence because they break me out like they fuck me up on levels that like I can't even explain and obviously the first ingredient basically is canola oil rice protein you know mung bean protein that's I guess okay I don't know potato starch 
all kinds of sugar. Like this is this like basically if you like really don't want to feel fucked up, like if I'm really trying to just like live good for the week, I just eat whole foods. So these are treats and basically it's like me going to McDonald's. I'm just like signing myself up for failure. I know the next day I'm going to be groggy AF. I know that I'm going to feel like shit. I'm going to be moody. Um, I'm going to feel bloated. My ovaries may actually hurt. Like I get a feeling where it's like someone's tugging on them. They're achy and no, it's not blue ovaries. Okay. It's from, it's, it's from this trash, but I don't want to get eczema. So I'm going to eat these because gluten just straight up, it gives me eczema in here. She's recovered though. We're good. I'm just going to have so thirsty. Mm. I got these at Shoppers Drug Mart. <laughs> these are razors. White male patriarchy told me to. These were $12. I'm not eating these. And then I got this. Ooh, it's, it's wet. I got this lovely little house salad. It has quinoa, beets. Um, the beets are the sugar from the beets is balanced out with the pumpkin seeds that have fat, chickpeas, a tahini dressing, which also has. I think coconut sugar in it, if I'm not mistaken, and sunflower oil, brown sugar. So, um, okay, so this is what I'm going to say about everything that I bought. These were all cheaty bits. Um, these are all things that I really enjoy. And I know that, like, I'm going to pay the price for every single one of them. I have some spots because I've been eating the way that I want to eat. So what I'm going to say is, like, I don't ever tell, like, people will message me and be like, oh my god, like, how do you fully cut this thing out? And, like, the truth is, is, like, yes, you can fully cut out gluten, dairy, sugar, soy, starches, everything. Like, my body would function the best if I was eating straight vegetables and beans and seeds and nuts day and night. That's, like, I'd be in a great spot. Um, there's one crock pot recipe that we make where I eat it and I'm like, whoa, I feel amazing. But... A lot of foods don't make me feel amazing and these are like foods that are kind of in the middle except for the Beyond Burger like except for this this makes me feel like trash everything else like my body doesn't really fully detect like how bad this brown rice wrap is you know like it doesn't fully react the way that it would if I because I have a wheat one in my fridge um, where is it yeah this is it it's organic spelt flour and olive oil the thing with this, though, is it has so few ingredients, but one of the ingredients is whey, and I didn't even realize that, and whey is dairy. So not only is it, like, not vegan, it's also, like, dairy just literally inflames me and breaks me out within, like, three seconds. So I have these, and, like, granted, if we really want to, like, get down to it, these are healthier than this, right, because there's less ingredients. So my thought process on like any groceries is just for me, I try to eat as like whole food based as humanly possible and as low carb as humanly possible. We also recognize that we're not perfect humans. There was two years from t like full 2017 to 2018. I didn't consume any of those ingredients, literally did not even have like one bite of soy sauce. I did not have one bite of sugar. Like I was so good. And that showed in my body. I mean, really, I had 0% body fat. But, and you know what? I didn't feel like I was missing out that much. But I don't know what it is late. Ah, it's because I stopped smoking pot. The food has become endorphins for me. So I think deep down, my, my brain does want like a bit of an endorphin release from eating sugar. I've just diagnosed my issue. Regardless, um, yeah. I mean, if you can take anything away from this and you're a chick with PCOS or someone that just like gets acne or whatevs and you just want to eat healthy, you know, most of my meals today, whole food based. Will I have a Beyond Burger later? Probably. And that's kind of the thing with life is like, it should be balanced. I'm not trying to like get obsessive with my diet because I also think that like when you have PCOS, you can get very obsessive with your diet. Like in the morning, I have bananas in my smoothie. I spike my insulin, but then I also have like almonds in my smoothie, right? So it's like I try to balance my sugars and fats. I don't just try to not have fruits. Like I've heard so many stories about women who just cut fruit out of their diet completely 
for years because they were so afraid like they were just like oh my god what about my insulin and when they started introducing fruit back into their diet that's when they got their periods so I really feel like a diet of moderation is the best not only for like my body but just like my mental health because like I'm really not trying to be like strict or mean to myself like if I see something that I want to eat I'm not going to say no and I'm thick now I'm cute like you know what I am not fat I'm, I'm a very healthy body weight at this point like I feel good about my body you know what I'm saying like I feel good about it like I'm, I'm not a stick figure but I have muscle and so I feel like I'm just treating my body the way that it wants to be treated at this particular point so yeah that that got serious quick because the hanger fairy took over and she wanted to leave y'all a message. So yeah, conclusion, this is what I got from Vita Health. If you guys like my little vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, soy-free, sometimes cheat meal uh, grocery hauls, then please give the video a like, give it a thumbs up so I know that you want me to make more of these. Give it a thumbs down please don't. If you don't like this content or just exit out of my page, like don't fuck up my algorithm. And follow me on Instagram at Rachel Lane Jones. Subscribe if you haven't already for PCOS information, style and makeup information, and vlog information. Okay? Okay. Also, I got my nails taken off. I feel so much better now. I had the craziest daggers. It was a good day, you know? Dash my haul. I'll see you guys in the next one. Miss y'all ready. Pray for my breakout right now. Toodaloo.